Good morning, journal. As I sit on the kitchen bench seat, looking out window panes covered in dog nose smudges, I find myself longing for some much needed therapy. And by that, I mean garden therapy. Being in my garden somehow allows thoughts to enter slowly and help calm my soul as I try to solve the problems of the world within my brain. I have something here I have been putting off ordering since we moved to Sugarwood. And I decided to pull the trigger the other day, one, because I realized and said to myself, why aren't I ordering something that I like? And I know I like it because I had it in Groton. And two, I found out it was discontinued. This is wallpaper that I absolutely love. And I got 12 of the last few rolls in the world, unless like a designer might have it in her studio or something. This is my B wallpaper, finally. And I know some of you noticed it on the kitchen wall behind me in some of the videos. I was moving it between a few spaces and I'm definitely going to be using it in our bedroom. And I've had it in there on the wall from when we first moved in and I've had the sample up um, pretty much for a few weeks now. So I'm excited to finally have it in and I'm excited that I ordered it before I found out they had no more in the world. I would have been very sad. Um, so it was meant to be. Now this wallpaper is from Sanderson and they do have other colorways. They just don't have this sage and they call it flint and celadon, which are the colors I worked with. I just was making sure it was the right color. Whew. And I think I have extra too. Um, I based a lot of Groton House's colors around this and then even the kitchen. The kitchen cabinets were painted because of this B wallpaper. Let me come up closer and show you this. Some of you may have not ever seen it, but here we go. So it has the, like I said, the same colors that I'm using all throughout the house. And I just love it. I love it. I'll show you a, a, a photo here of when I had it over at Groton House. I used it upstairs and downstairs. Yes, so I am very excited about that. So in today's video, I wanted to let you know, I'm going to just share a few things. I realized I needed a little bit of therapy and I don't mean the expensive type of therapy that I have to leave the house or make a phone call. I'm talking about a little garden therapy, a little shopping therapy, and just um, enjoying some things that I like to do. If you haven't already, I would love to ask you to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this box, and I'm gonna start playing with the table. It's not gonna be a final setup, but you're gonna see some of the things that I purchased. Well, I had plans to do some gardening and my clippers are actually frozen inside of the shed right now. So I'm going to get myself some clippers and then I'll have two pair this summer. I love visiting the garden section. And I'm looking for something that's nice and sturdy. I'm pretty much going for the bittersweet today. So I'm going to get myself a big pair of fiskers. Branches and stems. Rah, rah, rah. So many great things. I love hardware stores. I'm also going to grab myself some wallpaper paste because my B wallpaper arrived. Well, I'm out here now, I'm gonna be cutting some bittersweet. Look how it has wrapped itself around the rose bush here. So I'm going to start getting a lot of this bittersweet from the trunk itself. And I'm going to be bringing it to the back side of the yard so I can burn it, hopefully, this weekend. 
I also have some briars that I'm going to take care of. And this is the year I'm determined to eradicate this bittersweet because it's really hindering a lot of the gardening ideas I have. Because I'm going to be doing my kind of my little secret garden over here that has a pattern to it. And I just want to get rid of all of this invasive vine. It's very frustrating. Excited. I got my new Fiskars here and garden gloves on for the first time in this new year, I believe. I don't think I had them on since January 1st. quite a bit done. I'm going to leave these piles. I'll pick them up over the weekend once I have some gloves on that can handle thorns because they are mixed in here. But I'm definitely going to make this focus. This is the focus this year. And like I said, I'm trying to plan a really pretty knot garden or some sort of garden here. I've got a couple sketches that I'm working on. I've got plans. Let's see what comes to fruition. Well, on Wednesday, the whole day was spent at the new studio to start getting the spring summer garden tea party in a box ready for their April delivery. And then my whole Thursday was spent with my mom and my fur brother, Gus. Now I wanted to show this. This is proof positive that my desire to decorate for the seasons and decorating in general was largely inspired by my mom. This is her walker, all decorated for spring. But we're gonna head down to her thrift shop that she has that she can go to, and we're gonna look for items. Now, right now I'm checking to see if something is pressed glass, and I'm checking to see if something is cut glass. And I'll cover that in a future video. I'm visiting my mom today, and I have a cart full of consignment thrifted finds. They have an amazing shop here at her assisted living facility. I cannot wait to show you what I have. This is Gus. Maine Coo cat that was rescued. Yeah. And very different from when he came here. It was very skinny and sickly and now oh, he startles easily still too. Like I said, he was a rescue and he was kept in a room, right mom? Just his whole life, yeah. one little room his whole life. And Nope. And now he's in a loving home. Very happy cat, but still skittish sometimes. Hi, huh, baby. I realized that I had probably the chandelier in my way in that opening part of the video, but I just moved over a little bit. What I'm going to start with is show you a couple of the items that I found at the thrift store at my mother's place. Now she's in a very large assisted living community space that has multiple buildings, restaurants, and they have a thrift store with smalls and they also have a section for furniture and it's only open to residents and family. And the finds there are amazing. You remember my tall case clock that I got for $25? that's where I found that particular piece. So I brought a few things home and I'm going to share what one thing inspired me for one of the Easter table displays I want to do. But all right, so you know, these are reproduction Staffordshire dogs and they're not, these haven't been my style. I'll say that bluntly. I always looked at them and wondered if I wanted to get them and hemmed and hawed, but they were also always very expensive, especially for the true antiques. These are reproductions. These are from Andrea by Sadak and Jay Wilfred um, was the artist for that, hand painted in, Por in uh, Portugal. So I got these for a really like 
great price. I kept walking back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, I know I'll have to call my mom to go get them if I don't grab them now. So I did. I looked these up online. These vintage dogs are going anywhere from, I saw one at $60, but the others are going from $98 to $138 for the pair. So I got a really good buy. Now, right now, I'm going to be saying I'm going to keep them as a foster parent because I'm not sure if I'm going to find a place for them here in the house and I'm not sure if it's for me. So right now, a foster parent, you may see these end up on my online store, which I'm going to be putting back some really nice vintage and antique items that are pre-loved, but that's going to be down the road. So if this is something you're interested in, you're just gonna have to keep checking because I don't know if I'm keeping them or not. And first thing, Ben walked in and said, what the heck are those and why do they have mustaches? <laughs> so now I can't unsee mustaches. It's supposed to be whiskers. In every one of these that I saw online, they're all painted different. So yeah, just, you know, impulse buy, but it was very much worth it, amazing. So I also went in thinking if I found some things that would be fun to do a couple Easter table displays just to show you because when I do the family setup, it's, it's gonna, probably going to be very different. Depends on the amount of people that we have coming. So when I'm walking up and down the aisle, I found these green plates. Now in my mind, I already knew I wanted to do something like a Peter Rabbit theme for the Easter. And I thought these were great. Um, I have, how many of these do I have? I have six, that's great. <laughs> I'm glad I just counted those now because I'm gonna do table setup for six and show you with that. For these six plates, it was $5. And kind of the starting point for one of my table setting ideas. Then, I always walk off with Pyrex. This is how I build my Pyrex collection thrifting. So I have three more sizes here, and many of you have probably seen, I have them set in my drawer. I just pull out for my baking and setting out my items for recipes, and I do love having these. And it's also great for leftovers. Put it right in here and just cover it up and put it in the fridge. So going on possibly the Peter Rabbit and garden theme, I found this little flower pot container. Would I have purchased this normally? No, not really, because it's just something that I wouldn't use in everyday decor. But to go along with this fun little theme, and when you see what I'm gonna be doing, I think, I really, you know, I just, I'd grab that. And this was, I think, only $4. And down the road, you know, I might use it for out in the garden just for fun, but it's just a little ceramic item. And one cannot have too many flower vases. I picked this one up. It's nice and thick and heavy, and there's some bubbling in it, but I have all different sizes, and this one, um, I just like how it flared at the top, because I think I mentioned two videos ago, I have one I thought I would love. It's just too straight, and everything looks too stiff and uncomfortable. And the last thing I purchased, and I haven't even opened them yet, I hope they're both in great condition, these beautiful dishes, leaf dishes, and this is from Shorter and Sons, Staffordshire, England. Now, I've never heard of Shorter and Sons, so I'm looking forward to researching them a bit more, and they are different than my white cabbage plates, which are, my white cabbage plates are Wedgwood. And I just really thought this would be fun to put together. Now I have my green plates, which are a pottery. And I love those. I've, I don't even remember where I got them. I've had those, I don't know how many houses back. So I've had them for a long time. But with everybody doing green now, I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm gonna start doing my white more because I don't wanna follow trends. And once that trend's gone, I'll bring my greens out even more. I'm always leery when I take something apart because you never know what's hiding underneath. So they are in perfect condition. Maybe a little crazing on, on one of these here, but no cracks, nothing. Now I'm thinking, unless I come up with a different idea, next week I'm gonna try to do a video, uh, at least part of it, on what to look for when thrifting. And I have a whole list of things that I wrote down in a journal a long time ago and I found it the other day. And I'm gonna share some of those tips with you.
and I can't get the tape off my fingers. All right, so that's what I found while I was thrifting at my mother's. And now I'm gonna get rid of these and start pulling out some items to show you that I got to do some fun table displays once I get this tape off. One thing I forgot to add, talk about karma. The new office space that I'm going in has a warehouse that I have some of my items in. In the warehouse, uh, there's also furniture and boxes of china and glassware. Coming to find out, it belongs to the person that I'm working with uh, renting the space. And he has offered much of it to me if I would like. So I'm gonna be buying some of the furniture for my showroom and then I'll be selling some of his items on consignment on the store. And a lot of it is um, china teacups, there's some beautiful glassware, I'm trying to think of what else is in there, some dishes, um, some jasperware, wedgewood, so I will have some of those too, but that's gonna be a while. I have to go through it, wash it, see what's what, some of it's broken. But I thought that was just such a neat thing that here's all this beautiful, stuff these beautiful items to resell and um, he's going to let me sell them for him on consignment so someday those will be added as well i will most definitely show you close-ups here in a moment but i spread out some of the things that i purchased yesterday when i was out and about and like i said I think I have ideas here for two tables, and that's not including items that I have also in my drawers here, but there was a 40% off sale going on. I went in, let me just take a step back. I went in just for eggs. Now, last year I created a tree topiary. I had two cones and I had, oh, I'm just looking at a beautiful owl, sorry, just got distracted. I had two cones and I only had enough eggs to finish one of them. And when I was cleaning the craft room, uh, was that two months ago, last month? I forget when it was. I realized I still had that other cone. I went to, this was Hobby Lobby where I got these and they didn't have the Easter out yet. So I went again last month and they didn't have that stuff out yet. Yesterday, I'm like, I'm pulling in. I was on my way home from my mom's. I pulled in, they had plenty. I grabbed extra because once again, I don't wanna run out and I can always return what I don't have. And like I said, this was all 40% off. So my hopes are is that I'll be able to sit, relax, and finish the second egg tree, and then I'll have a pair because I did want them for either side of Queen Bess, and they also look good in front of the kitchen window, and last year I didn't have the full view window, so I'll try it in two different areas. But that's a goal, I'm gonna make time to finish that. The grass is already on, I just need to get the hot glue going and finish that. I will link the video below for that craft because I probably won't show it again. Um, been there, done that. So what I have here, I like to think out of the box. I saw these little flags that you would put on the metal you know, arm to hang out maybe in front of a door. I saw these flags and I started thinking that would make a really cute placemat. I know it's the wrong direction. You could do it that way if you want, but I thought it would be really cute to have that here and then a plate and then I could do some layering. Let me grab my other plates that I just bought. So right now I'm mixing thrifted with new and the new items were on deep discount sale. So I liked that. Another thing I found were these grass placemats. Now, this is not new. One of my friends did a display on Nantucket in a store and she used these grass mats. I did look at the carpeting to cut instead, and this was cheaper with the sale, so I went with this. And once again, you know, I could do it with many different layers of plates, but I thought that was fun also for an Easter display. Another thing I like to do is when I'm walking around, I saw they had many different types of carrots for decor. And I'm gonna show you a stem that I got, I looked at, there were three for $7.99 and then the sale. And I would, have to, I would have had to get two of them for the table setting or however I'm going to use this. I have some ideas. I don't need, I, I have ideas. 
And then I saw this garland and I liked the carrots on the garland better. I liked the greenery better. It has the burlap and they, there is eight on here. So for half the cost, because this was $8.99 at 40% off, the others were $7.99, 40%. So I'll get eight carrots to use and I liked them better. So I always look at, once again, thinking out of the box. Don't look at this as a garland when you see other things. Um, way, way back I did a video making a snowball garland and I cut it and put it in a tree. I'll link that too if I can remember. But, um, and then I just, I grabbed these without a plan right now because I might want to make a, oops, I might want to make a wreath with it to go around a candle ring. I might use it for around napkins. I don't know yet. Um, so, and if I don't use it, I will return it. They had some little black and white bird houses. I used these at a client's party, similar, bigger, that I actually had hand painted. And that was for a spring theme party. I thought it would go nice with this flag, which I'm going to use as a placemat. Then, so cute, a little package of gardening tools. Peter Rabbit theme, garden theme, however you want to use them. I got these, they were regularly $2.99. I can see these being used for a place setting with a ribbon that I got. I got some, some ribbon that can wrap around it, but I also got some stickers if I want to make a name tag. Once again, I don't know where this is going to go or where it will end up, but in my mind, I start looking at colors, sizes. I made sure the stickers weren't too big for something like that. And I think that's going to be adorable for little place settings or to use somewhere on this table display. And I did get six for six settings. I also got a long ivy, which I didn't open up. If I wanted to wrap it around napkins, this says it has, let's see, I think we have three feet here. So if I just wanted to wrap a little bit and open it, and I could also use it around those garden tools, I'm all set. And then the only other thing I got that I already had last year from when I stamped the napkins with the bunny, I was going to finish all of my napkins because I only did a couple for display last year and the bunny rubber piece fell off and all I could find was the block. So I was glad to see that I was able to find another and I did get another ink just in case the ink I have dried out. If it didn't, I can bring this back too. And I'm just going to play right now and show partial setup but I'd have to go in my loft right now over the garage to get the rest of my Easter decor. And I have a little bit too much on my plate, no pun intended, to do that right now. I wanna get outside and do a little more work in the garden and cutting some limbs because I think we have our kids coming over this weekend, maybe a little bonfire Sunday. I know a couple of them are staying overnight Saturday, so I gotta get the house pulled together too and ready for family. So I'm gonna clean this up, play a little bit, and go from there. I don't like it at all. This is just not hitting home for me. I'm gonna try using these again for something. I'm not sure yet, so I'll hold on to those for a while. I'm trying to force myself to like the tablecloth it's just not for this house, for this situation. And it's so darn cute. What I find interesting is that when I showed this earlier and Ben saw it, he actually said, that doesn't look like you. And I already knew that. I'm surprised he knew that. I need to trim up these beauty bushes. That one got crushed last winter. I just wanna reshape them and let them start fresh because they got a little straggly. 
and get rid of these. Well, I got a bit done, but we need to take Willow to the vet now. With Easter also coming soon, I thought I would share another craft project I did last year and previous years. I'm going to link this below for those who didn't see this last year. And if you'd like to make a carrot for your front door, here it is. Another little project I hope to share, it's not really a craft project, it's more of a recipe, are these cute little boiled egg chicks that I made. The eyes are made from little pieces of cut olives, the beak is from little pieces of carrot, and then I just boiled the egg, scooped it out, and made these cute little ones. Honestly, people didn't want to eat them because they were too cute and they felt bad. If this is something you would like me to reshare and make again, comment below and I will see what I can do. Well, here's a close up of my, what I have now been told are mustache wearing dogs, <laughs> my little foster dogs. But for now, they are guarding the silly little black and white egg I made a couple months ago. Or was it the beginning of February, end of January? I don't even know but I'll maybe attempt another one because to me it still looks kind of like a citrus reamer shape versus an Easter egg. But I'm gonna get focusing on the egg tree first. That's more important to me because that's something I'll have year after year. I should actually say I hope my other egg tree is safe because the pine cone tree I did, I went to pull it out of the attic for Christmas and everything melted off. So I'm hoping the eggs did not melt off during the hot summer up in the loft. I will have to go see. And if it did, I will be making two trees, unfortunately. Well, like I mentioned, I'm not going to be doing the whole table setting right now. I'm actually going to have to take this apart because family is coming a little bit later. But I just wanted to show you on this one inside the soup bowls, I just rolled up some napkins to look like little flowers and just very, very simple. And over here I have the little birdhouse, but I don't have the napkin set up or anything. I may actually use this for Easter day. I'm not sure. Once again, it depends on how many family members we have. And I just brought out the rabbit soup tureen and I didn't even fluff this. This is just those two garlands together that I'm using as a wreath. And then in the candle holders are the Babery candles that I have on the website. So it's just kind of the simple, and this is more me, the greens, the blacks, the whites, the creams, a little crystal. This is definitely more my style. We are currently taking a nighttime walk. If I were to take the camera away, this is how dark it is right now. We're going out to check our cameras to make sure they're working with the infrared lights at night. We are hoping to catch just some wildlife out in the woods. So right now we're just checking. We're gonna bring the SD cards in to see if it works and uh, hopefully get some stuff throughout the year, which will be fun. I'm in sneakers right now. Wore the wrong shoes, but we just got home from some errands and Willow chased some deer into the backyard. So we figured this would be the time to go get the camera. You can see the glow of the house over there. When I read some of the stories written about the property, I can almost envision people walking between the homes, visiting each other. I can imagine them seeing the glow of the houses in the distance from candlelight. But yeah, it's kind of neat being out here in the middle of the night. I would never do this alone though, I can assure you.
I'm actually taking my time because I don't want to walk on with that side of the woods with my, my white sneakers on. I'm doing it on purpose. Don't tell him. Even though he'll watch the video and find out. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look too muddy. I wouldn't put it past the both of them to be hiding behind a tree up here. Not at all. Oh, I see a flashlight. There they go. There they are. Will is going to come barreling down the hill, I bet, any moment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, honey. Hi. Go find Daddy. I think we're going to go in and make a fire and enjoy the rest of the night. Well, kindred spirits, thank you for joining me this week, and I cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye now.